Oh, yat eh, yat eh, na na shikedo shidina. I was on my way to um, conduct a, a ceremony for a relative. I didn't know you guys were going to be here this early. Barely six o'clock. So I'm going to, oh, I'm going to just have to call them and tell them that the ceremony is going to be postponed. I'll have to reschedule that ceremony. Come on. I'm sorry for this outfit. Let me let me change it to something else more decent. Oh, there you are. It's a lot better. This is more appropriate. Like I said, I was on my way earlier down the road as opposed to conduct the ceremony. So uh, like I said, I didn't know you guys were going to be here this early. And uh, Welcome to Navajo Man and Lakota Bay's YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. And um, for I uh, continue on, I just want to show you my ingredients and um, oh, hold on. Let me, let me, let me take off my, let me take off one of my uh, jewelries here. This one I like to call Bella. She's, she's one of my champions here. After I watched Twilight the first time I saw it and I had this one on so I, I, I named her Bella. The Bella will yeah. So I'm gonna place her right here so she watches me. Yeah, I'll leave this one on for my protection. Uh, yeah, she always has my back, yeah. So I'll put this one on. The uh, she bracelet. Anyways, so I'll talk about our food here. So I'm going to be making um, Navajo fried bread. This is the way I was taught. This is my ingredients. So don't copyright. Don't come at me saying, oh, we don't do it like this. We don't do it like that. Some of us Navajos, we love to, uh, we love to judge each, each other's fried bread. They, that's normal. Alcohol. I don't care. But just letting you know, this is copyrighted. Hey, um, don't copy my ingredients. I'm just playing. This is how I was taught. This is how I was raised. I'll show you what I use for my ingredients. Navajo man. Ready? Bluebird flower. The one and only. This is what real Navajos use. If you don't use this, then you're Navajo. And I don't know. This flower does never, it never lets you down. You can buy it in the Four Corners region. Uh, buy it at your local trading post down in Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado. Shout out. Not sponsored. Ah, uh, the next one. Hey, yeah, I use this one. Clobber girl. Sounds like most of you guys that are watching are with a clobber girl. This is what I use, baking powder. This one right here with a dash of tchadadine. Hey, I'm just getting on that last part, but this is what I use. Clobber girl, like that one that's watching. Ah, uh, do a... A shin, huh? Like some of... Like most of you that are watching your clans are Ashihan salt clan. This is what I use, idolized sea salt. Doesn't matter what salt you use. I use this one because it's the only one we have in the house apparently. But but back home we usually use a Morton, a Morton sea salt or I think it was called. You know that little girl with the umbrella, it's all blue. You know what I mean. Hey, hey, yeah, that's what we use. But today I'm going to use this one. Okay, but uh, that's all I use: salt, baking powder, and flour. And I'm back here. I'm warming up my water. Look at that. So eh, I like it really, really hot. I like it so hot it burns my hand. I'm just kidding. Don't get it too hot. Just enough for it to, just to rise the flour when you mix all the ingredients. Although this, I use a, I use this bowl. Well, uh, nothing special to it. It's a little sideways, little dented, but it's okay. And I don't use any measuring cups because me personally, I listen to my ancestors. I'm connected spiritually, traditionally. No matter how much I use, I just, I can hear them. That's enough. You know, so. I... Can't help you with the measurements, but just go off of my vlog here. Go off of the video. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I use a cast iron pan as well. This is for when to cook it. And I use vegetable oil. Some people use grease. But Shay, this is the only one that's available. And it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter, I guess. But to me, it, it doesn't really matter. I like vegetable oil. 
So today, yeah, I'm gonna be doing um, one cup of flour, two cups. I'm probably gonna do four cups of flour, to be honest. Three, four. So this is enough to feed, I'd say about six people, eight people maybe max i don't know like i said i don't have i don't use measuring cups hey, indians don't use measuring cups we listen to our ancestors remember that remember that a day yeah i use this guy but i have some in here so just know i am using club a girl like some of you that are watching i usually use four of my fingers to pinch it why four because four is a secret number like this. So the amount of cups that I put into the bowl, I do the same amount with the this one. One, two, three, uh, two, four. Then I close it up. Usually with this one here, now a salt, I usually put it in my hand like this. I don't know how much, like I said, you just grab. Now I use three fingers. And I pinch uh, the same amount four, four pinches. Make sh make sure you put it in from the east. That's a, that's that's how Navajos do it. Do one. Make sure you put on the south side next. Two. West side. Three. Ah, uh, two. North. They just maybe just a little bit in the middle for the ancestors. All right. A day once you got all that in together, you just blend it together with your hands. Blend it all dry, like some of you guys that are watching. Like your elbows. Like your elbows, like your knees. Some of you guys may be all clean on your elbows, but I bet you your knees are all dry. Like Navajo man. Navajo man's always dry. 24-7. 365 days out of a year. I love it. I like it when it's dry. All right, I blend it all together. I mixed it all. You guys saw it. it. Took me no more than a minute or two. However, however you think is all mixed. Listen to your ancestors. Make a hole in the middle, like some of you guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, the get the hot water that was sitting on the on the stove, and pour a little bit in there. It's just hot enough. Hot enough for it to rise and blend it. So still blending, I just barely started pouring some water. Keep on mixing it. You now you want the texture to be somewhat um, built together, I guess. You'll see what I mean at the end of this mixture here, how you want it. And I I uh, purposely put water in there too much. So if you did that, don't worry. What you can do is grab another pinch of flour and just splash it in there. I just add some more flour, like I said, add it to the side of it so that flour soaks up all the water. And just keep on mixing it, mixing it like this over and over again. Your arms will get tired, but that's just the name of the game. Just keep mixing it. And I'll show you the end, how it should look afterwards. You guys see how my bread's coming out? So what I basically did was just like, just, um, just keep on doing what I was doing. Your hands will get all sticky and whatnot, but if it does get sticky, like I said, grab a pinch of flour and just throw on the side and then douse your hands with it. And then just go like that. And eventually the flour comes off and once you get it all cleaned off, try to go and mix it in there with the bread again. And then the bread still kind of sticky in some areas, it's okay. You just kneel your bread like that. Beat your dough, not your men or women. Remember that. Beat your dough, not your men or women. So, it's an old ancient Indian proverb there, y'all. Sprinkle a little bit for the ancestors. 
okay? And then you want your Brit to look like a beach ball. Like some of you that are watching, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> look like a beach whale, beach ball. You just do that. Just get it enough. Just enough. So you think it feels good. See, there's parts that are still sticky a little bit on here. So I'm going to sprinkle the flour on the sticky part. Okay. Preserve all that. So once you think you got it good, it looks all good. Get some, uh, get the approval from your in-laws. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then um, after we're done here, I'll show you guys what's next. Okay. A little bit more for, for all you beach balls out there. So you just do that. Just make it fun. We're just having fun. We're just having fun like Bob Ross. Picture this as a Bob Ross painting. We're just having fun. <laughs> All right, now we just uh, throw a cloth over it. Oh yeah, this is how it looks. Soft as a baby's bottom. And then you just throw a cloth over it and then you just wait for it. The towel can be moist, but don't worry. This is the way I do it. I know a lot of you guys are going to judge right now. That's supposed to be wet. That's how I did it for many centuries. Okay. All right. So I just got done chopping up some buffalo stew. We're going to eat it with some potatoes, carrots, celery, onions, and broth. So y'all know what's in there. And next, I'm going to start up now, heat up my vegetable oil for my fry bread. So it's going to go in here. I'm going to pour about there. You, you need a lot for your fry bread because it's going to it's going to cook good in there. So close now the fry bread is looking like this. I just looked at it earlier. So look at that. Mm -hmm. mm. Does it look like something? Does it remind you of something? Oh yeah, nice and soft. You guys will love it. Only if you guys could feel it. Right. Oh yeah. Let's begin. So I'm gonna grab at least a wad. I guess like a little ball size, a baseball, like smaller than a baseball. Roll into a ball. Just like you're rolling, I don't know, like a ball, I guess. I usually work the inside first and start working my way out. Slow motion. But then by the time I got that all going, I just start flopping it. If you know how to do this, you know how to do this. If not, I just probably stick to like a rolling pin or something. But I got a small little fry bread for now because this is a this is a test this is my sample bread to see if the uh, pan is hot enough and then after that I'm gonna make a bigger fry bread so this is usually I usually make a sample bread give everybody a piece once I'm done so now I got a little bigger piece it's uh, pretty much a baseball size I got my sample bread right here the pan is still warming up and now I'm gonna get my first bread prepared so once my sample bread's done I hurry up and throw this guy on so yeah just like you did the first time work the middle trying to kind of like stretch it out trying to even it out you want a circle you don't want a rough edge it like the navajo nation so look like that and then once you get that figured out just flop it my uh test bread ready this is my test bread here we go. If it come up, All right, a test bread coming in. That's the test bread. Let it sizzle. Make sure you grab yourself a fork or you can use your thongs. Pop the middle. That's how it looks. The sample of bread looks good. Sample of bread looks good, y'all. Look at that. Nice. All right, now I'm taking it out. That's looking good. Look at that fried bread. 
Navajo Fry Brit. So that sample's done, so I think we're good to go, guys. I'm gonna go throw my first bread on. And uh, yeah, from here on out, it's go time. So keep the bread coming. Keep the bread coming. Pop the middle. Yeah, here we go. So y'all, if I didn't, I didn't tell y'all, but you guys can look at it like that. Look underneath it to see if it's brown enough. You don't want it dark brown because that's overcooked, right? And so you just want it golden brown. So just enough for it to taste good. Golden brown like your cheeks. Okay. Now pop the middle. Don't want all that air build up. Let's see. Yep. There you go. Another batch. All right, here's another batch. All right, let's flip it over again. You guys like how that sounds, huh? Sounds like last night. Okay, on my, I'm on my last bread right here. There you go. Say a prayer. Say, say a prayer on your last bread. That's how we. That's how we usually do it. Just kidding. You don't have to. All right, a sample piece. Mmm, damn, that's good. So now we're just gonna wait for our buffalo stew to eat with our fry bread. Like and subscribe, comment down below if you guys need anything else instructed. Uh, I'll try my best to answer it. And uh, easy, easy now. Here, here, grab, grab this one. It's a lot, it's a lot cooler. So we're gonna wait for that to get done. Then it's gonna taste good together. A buffalo stew and fry bread, um, but. Stay tuned for part two. I might make another dish, a Native American dish. In Indian tacos on the Navajo list. Navajo taco. Navajo taco. We coming after you. So stay tuned. Share with all your friends and relatives. And right now, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna eat this all. Get ready to run my ceremony, and I'll see you in the next video of Navajo Man and Lakota Bay. Take